Thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles workbook for student part one of the workbook. This is review four, lesson 142. My mind holds only what I think with God. Review of lesson 123. I thank my father for his gifts to me. Review of lesson 124. Let me remember I am one with God. Moving on to the commentary by Alan Watson and Robert Perry. My mind holds only what I think with God. Review of I Thank My Father for His Gifts to Me, Lesson 123 and Lesson 124, Let Me Remember I Am One with God. For practice instructions, please read or visit my video on Review 4, Introduction. Commentary. That my mind holds only what I think with God is not something I have to work at to attain. It is not a thought to be repeated like having a pur purgative to drive out opposing thoughts with the undertone of I have to make my mind have only God's thoughts in it. That my mind holds only what I think with God is a fact and represents the truth of what you are and what your father is. As we were told early in the workbook, when we think that our thinking that we are thinking without God, we are not really thinking at all. Our mind is actually blank. While thoughtless ideas preoccupy your mind, the truth is blocked. Recognizing that your mind has been merely blank rather than believing that it is filled with real, idea, with real ideas is the first step to opening the way to vision. Now we are emphasizing that the presence of these thoughts means that you are not thinking. The thoughts of God that fill my mind in reality are my Father's gift to me. I am opening my mind today to His thoughts. What I ordinarily think of as thoughts that interfere or conflict with God's thoughts are like the static on a radio that interferes with the actual signal. They are not thoughts, they are static, they are noise. The signal is still there, but the static needs to be tuned out so that the signal can come through. The truth about me is that I am one with God. His mind is my mind. Please bear with me as I change the page. His thoughts are my thoughts. I am not something other than what he is. This is the truth of what you are and what your father is. To say that my mind holds only what I think with God can be a joyous affirmation of the truth. It can remind me of his gifts to me and remind me that I am one with him. That in me, which seems contrary to God, distant for God, from God or opposed to God, is not who I am. It is not my reality. It is without meaning. There is nothing opposed to God in my mind. Another way of putting that is that what seems to be in me opposing God is actually nothing. It is an illusion or a hallucination with no power and no strength of its own. It is empowered only when I believe in it. Today, I choose to deny that anything not of God has any power over me. I choose to remember what my reality is. I choose to remember that I am one with God. Thank you for joining with me. I love you. Have a beautiful day.